Hello everyone, so now that the Shadow Gunner and the Fire Gunner uh, videos are out, uh, the next most common question that I get is what Soul Badge and what Mystic Badge to get. So as the Shadow Gunner, you want to come to Mushin's Tower, talk to Kang Chao, and go to the Soul Badge tab, and you want to buy the Eternity Soul Badge, it's this one. So this, is, this uh, allows you to have 3 seconds of no chi cost whenever you cast your C as your Shadow Gunner. So as a Shadow Gunner, you know that when we charge up the Compulsion to 100%, we have Rapid Fire. And Rapid Fire uses your Chi extremely, extremely fast. So what we compensate is usually with Tab, so you have 8 seconds of Rapid Fire. So what that Soul Badge does is when you cast C, you get 3 seconds of unlimited uh, Chi, basically. So you can use your C to compensate. Let's say your Tab's on cooldown, you'd cast C and you'd have extra focus. Okay, so if you play as the Fire Gunner, you want to come here and you want to talk to him and buy this Soul Badge. The Primal Force Soul Badge. And this one increases the duration of your tab by 2 seconds. So the reason why you want to do this on the Fire Gunner is because your main source of damage is tab and F. So this Soul Badge will increase the tab duration by an extra 2 seconds. That way you could probably pull off maybe 6 or 7... Uh, rotations. I'm not sure how many rotations you could pull off, but you could definitely pull off at least six rotations, which helps quite a bit on your DPS. Okay, and then that that's it for the soul badges, so let's talk about mystic badges. There's only one mystic badge worth getting, and that is over here. It's gonna cost a lot, and it's really long term, but it's really the only one worth getting. All of the other mystic badges for the gunner, um, it's it's not worth the time. So we come over here and we talk to this guy. So as for Mystic Badges, there's only two Mystic Badges worth getting. The first one is the Aransu Mystic Badge and the second one is the Dynasty Mystic Badge. So if you're a Fire Build, you get the Aransu Mystic Badge. If you're a Shadow Build, get the Dynasty Mystic Badge. These are the only Mystic Badges worth getting. All the other Mystic Badges I don't recommend. To me, I would rather spend more time to get this mystic badge as fast as possible because this is extremely extremely strong if you want to see footage of these mystic badges in actual gameplay because i don't have them i i can't afford them um you can check out noda i think it's i think his name is pronounced noda you can check out his channel i'll put it in the description in the uh I'll, yeah i'll put it in the description below so you can just see his his two videos, one about the shadow and one about the uh, the fire gunner, because his gear is probably top in Korea already. So yeah, you can see his video if you just want to see the mystic badges in action. That's about it really, the soul badge and the mystic badge. As for the rest of your, your gear, if you're a shadow spec, I would highly recommend getting the VT ring or the BT ring at the very least, because that gives you focus regen. Other than that, if you can, get a aquamarine. Uh, I don't have an aquamarine, as I can't buy an aquamarine here. I have to gamble for it, which is a little bit costly, so I might, might wait for a while before I gamble. And uh, you must get the Fallen Souls... Uh, fallen Souls... What are they called? Soul Shields. Yeah, getting the Fallen Soul Shields is a must to get the 8 piece. Because that will increase your damage by a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay? So anyway, I hope this video helped uh, answering most of your questions about what Soul Badge to get and what Mystic Badge to get. And again, if you guys have any, any more questions, just let me know in the comments below. Okay? I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. What can I say except you're welcome? For the heat